We've had this clue game for months and nobody wants to play it. I'm really itching to play with everyone. Oh yeah, I forgot we had that for a second. I'd be willing to play it with you. Thanks, though. I'm not sure if the boys want to play it with us or not. Maybe you should go ask them and see if they'll come over here or not. All right. I'll be back in a minute. Yo, my, my bochacho. Remember when you gave me that board game around Christmas? Well, I was wondering if you and Zach might want to join me and Sandy in playing it. Heck yeah, that sounds tubular. Nobody uses that word anymore, dude. Also, I'll join in too. Guess everyone's down for it then. Alrighty, see you guys at the other cabin. So, an old game of Clue, huh? Sounds fun. Yeah, it's always been a favorite board game of mine. And it's filled with mystery, kind of like our adventures here at camp. Huh. Neat. Oh, I remember how competitive this game can get. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that aspect of Then I can make sure everyone falls down and bend you all to my will. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm a bit competitive. Got excited. <clears throat> Anyways, it has a competitive competitive aspect in which you try to accuse whoever killed someone. The old motor mystery. That's pretty freaky, dude. So, who's gonna be who? Hmm, I might go with Mr. Green. I'll be Miss Scarlet. Maybe I'll go with Mr. Body. And I'll go with Mrs. White. You have chosen your characters. You will now begin to enter the game. Wait, what? Whoa! Whoa! Hey, hold on a second. We seem to be in some sort of manner. You guys are in rather formal clothing, and so am I. Are we... No, no! How do we keep getting sucked into these things? I guess we have to play our parts right, and win our way out of this game world. Very trippy. Also, what's my name again? Mr. Body. That's your character name, Steve. Oh, right. Kind of spaced out there for a second. Oh, wait. If we're in inside the game, then th that means someone died in here already. <gasps> well, then that only means one thing. We must find out who killed the man, what they used to do so, and where the murder took place. Everyone, start searching for clues. Should we split up? If we do that... Then we can all look for the clues in multiple rooms at once. You know, while I suggest that, in typical horror mystery stuff, that's a bad idea. I think we can all agree that we really gotta get back home and that we should go with Sandy's idea. Sound like a plan, guys? Totally. I really need my chips back. Oh man, the, the killer could be... Ugh. Maybe I should just look around the books and see what I can find about this whole thing. Crap. There's nothing in those books. Huh? What the... A, a notepad? Hey guys, we still have our notebooks from the board game, so be sure to write down your clues. Man, where can a guy find some food? Preferably some chippy chips would do. Alright, gotta get a look for clues. Huh, a knife. Why would a killer not take the advantage to use such a classy weapon I guess they're changing things up. Tubular. Whoa, chips. Thank you, game. Hello, Steve. Hey there, Zach. Find anything unusual? Apparently, this kid is trying to be unconventional. I said you didn't even use a knife. Hey, gotta respect not going with a cliche weapon choice. True. Well, I guess we have to keep searching, I guess. Yeah. Wow, this manor sure does have a nice ballroom. It's so pretty. Hmm. Nothing suspicious seems to be taking place here. Hey, Sandy. Oh, um, hey, Alice. You doing all right? You seem to be a bit on edge there. Yeah, um, I'm just a bit freaked out about where the killer might be, or- Me too. It's so creepy. Though this ballroom does look pretty. I know, right? Hey, th that shiny thing behind you. Oh, this? Yeah, I found this lead pipe laying around. 
I was going to put it back where it was, but I don't know where it's supposed to go. You know where it goes? I think it goes in the billiard room or something. Thanks for letting me know. Now, back to important business. This sofa is so comfy. Definitely one of the best lounges I've ever seen. Hmm. So far, I haven't noticed anything weird or creepy yet. Huh. There's even a gaming setup around here. I don't have time for that, unfortunately. Maybe I should take a look around the study. Saving the best for last. Oh, hey Steve. Any luck with clues? No, not really. Just enough that somehow wasn't used for a murder. I haven't had any luck either. This is the only place I haven't checked, so there's bound to be something here. Huh? I think I already checked this area. I'll leave it to you then. Not cause any suspicion. Don't want the others to think we're walking together or something. Okay, good luck on the search. Clues. Where could some... Wait, huh? Wasn't there something that... Crap. The lead pipe. Sandy was the one earlier. Could she... No, no. Sandy couldn't have done it. She was looking for where it needed to go, so I guess she'll be on her way to return it. Time to look somewhere else. Hmm, man. These ships are so good. Ah, dang it. I'm all out. We'll try to search the conservatory. Huh, nice room. Got a big glass window roof. Why is there a rope there? Weird. Hmm. Whoa, neat. A ladder to the roof. Oh man, this was a very poor decision I have made. <sighs> nothing here, nothing there. Dang it! I'm not closer to figuring out the mystery. So I have to admit, this study does have a lot of interesting stuff. Oh. They even have the Greek mythology stuff I was reading a while back. Anyways, gotta keep searching for clues. Guess these floorboards are getting a bit weak. Ugh, can't believe we still have hardly anything. What do we do? Well, the only other thing I found was a rope in the conservatory. But it wasn't used for a murder. So yeah, that's no help. Ugh, should we just give up? I mean, it's taken forever to even find a clue. Eh, don't worry. We'll figure out things soon. Maybe. Guys! Guys, we're screwed! What? How? Zach's dead! What? what? Come on, let me show you where it happened! No! Zach! He was my best friend, my rochacho! Ah! That idiot! Do such a thing. It still makes me furious that someone would do this to a guy so caring. Hmm. Well, I think it's time we start connecting the dots and figuring out this whole murder mystery. Alright, so what evidence might we have? Well, I've noticed that the killer did, didn't use traditional weapons such as a knife or in the kitchen, or even the rope in the conservatory. Yeah, I think you had mentioned that originality aspect to Zack earlier, so I agree. Uh, wait, why assume the basic murder weapons? Wouldn't the killer want to be original? That's what I was about to say. Any... Um, I don't think I have any. Crap, me neither. Wait, I don't think it ever got put back in the billiard room. Yeah. Hmm, there's got to be more to this. <laughs> Sandy, why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, you haven't figured it out, have you? What do you mean by that? Well, you see, I'm the murderer. What? What? That's right. I murdered two people right under your noses. Since I wanted to gain the upper hand as soon as possible, I killed that random man at the start quickly where you wouldn't be able to catch me in the act. Later on, I of course killed Zack. I'll let you two figure it out. Wait, that missing lead pipe, that was, that was the same one that you had, and you said you were rather competitive at games, which means that you'd do anything to take advantage of your opponents, so... Time is up. You have failed to guess the murderer in time. Sandy wins. Nighty night. <laughs> Ugh, what happened? Who won? Ugh, my head hurts a bit. Ha! Yes, I won! Eat that, suckers!
Yeah, yeah, brag about it. Man, are we sure we actually went inside the game? It seems like one of those chip trips I've had. Hmm, as the victor, I shall demand you all to do something under my command. Do we have to? We didn't even make a bet or anything. I did say that I would make you all bow down to me if I win at something. So... You know, Steve, maybe you shouldn't have gotten me that game for Christmas. Where did you even get it from? Uh, you know where I get those chips- Oh, come on, Steve! Oh, holy crap! Why do you have to run so many laps? It's only five laps. You'll be fine. Why are the others running around the track? I sure didn't make them do that. Did you have anything to do with this? Yep. I enjoy watching them pay the price for losing a war they could never win. Ugh. Wow. Remind me to never mess with you.